repeat my tale of time's beginning. All was dark. There was no sand. There was no sea. No earth. Nor sky. No grass. Nor wind. Till fire met ice in the gasping void. And from this green came the giant Emir, first of all beings. Proud Ymir, cruelly killed. Yet from whose bones and blood and brains the world was made. The world you walk and war upon. Lucid, friend. My sword is grown greedy. I'm ready to fight. So nice having all of these hearty folk in our home. Dirty long chips. Give it here. I'll pass it on. My father asked me, Sigurd. Suit yourself. But you're not getting any me. Like a Seder works through my hammer. <laughs>
So, you have the ring? Good. This was worn by your grandfather in a battle on the Northern Way. Mother? Yes? Can we show us to get the can stones we stacked yesterday? That's a good idea. That's in the morning. First light. have a gift to deliver. forever I am pledged to you <laughs> hearken well in hall of kings ah. on ocean steed my words gain wings all oh, then speed I forth will bring for noble deeds that honor sing the brave men slain, Valkyria wakes. Rewards for strain to our little takes. And horns resound the mighty horn. For those who fight! Not you, Faber. Not just yet. It is foretold. The curtains are raised. Nothing is true until it is severed from the branches of Yggdrasil. If 
I give my life, will you spare my clan? You have my word. No. No, Baron. No, Aaron. Pick up your axe! <laughs> Too. I can let the Animus modulate your identity based on signal strength. It's up to you. All right, I'll lock it in and push ahead to a time where these streams are more synchronized. Have you been chasing me, Wolf Kissed? Seventeen winters? Eighteen? Do I now haunt your dreams? Do I warm your loins? <laughs> you remember this? Ah, oh, your father's axe. The weapon of a coward. A scorn snake. Ah, few things would please me more than to kill with this blade. But I know you would defy me to the death, fighting for a glorious end. That I will not allow. You will live your final days enthralled as a slave, humiliated. Your death will be a lonely one. Kill the rest of our crew! Make them suffer! Evil Wolf Kiss is no more! That name is dead to this world! You will be worth your weight in silver. Uh, to the ship! Uh. You move, and I take your eyes, you hear me? Wind's blowing from the south. We can tack north, then cut west.
Now what did I just tell you? <laughs> What do you see, Sunan?
Chatvis warriors. I should stay out of sight. Killed a score more single handed. Ha! Avon now chased the slavers with. And with Prince Sigurd likely lost at sea, the ravens will soon be a memory. of iron. There is fighting nearby. Dag, you old hound. You live. I do. Slipped away in the sword clash. And what of you? Chotve tried to sell me off. A mistake he'll regret. Not today he won't. I saw him board a ship at Davals Ness not long ago. Sailed east, leaving our crew behind. There must still be time to save our men. I will find them. You ready the longship. You glory hound. You would take the rescue for yourself, so the victory song is written about you. I could storm the beach then. Slay two dozen men, seize our dragon boat, and hoist the sail in triumph. Up to you. No, no, I will take the beach. A far more dangerous path. You search the longhouse for our crew. Oh, and here. This corpse will not have need of it. Go. I'll meet you by the ship. Arvosness, where that Oathbreaker is holding my crew. Kjotvis warriors crawl through Arvosness like lice. If I use the main gate, I may attract attention. The guards here are vigilant. Aid me. Be my eyes. Now you do! 
Longhouse. My crew should be inside. There should be an opening in the roof. will miss your neck. You coward! Unbind me and stick an axe in my hand! I owe you nothing, raven shit. Yours is a clan of thralls and peasants. 
You! Lay that axe aside or die by mine! You should be on a slave ship to Ireland, Wolfkist! But if you wish to be my first sacrifice, Odin will be more than happy to receive you. You just killed yourself, Erki. Die! I will send you to hell herself! Kneel, Wolfkist, and I will spare your life. Shut your hole and fight! Don't you need the words? Die, you sack of shit! Father, you should have held on to this until the bitter end. If I give my life, will you spare my clan? Let it no! Pick up your axe! Kill them all! No! Are you bewitched? Unbind us! What? Oh. Yes, of course. Ah, oh, my friend, Wolfkist. you have my thoughts. Even if your wits were somewhat rattled. Listen here. If you can breathe, you can fight. Now come. You take back our ship. You do not need to tell us twice.
Wait a sec. Or like my blows. Keep the dark in its tail. in this fight, and the men who humiliated us are dead. What is there to say? Oh, something like, I was stupid, selfish, reckless, <laughs> blind, bone-headed, and I smell like blood and shit. I like my version better. Eivor, look! Someone is setting up an outpost on that island. Shut this men. Gnawing at any piece of open land like dogs worrying a bone. Even with you half in the grave, we could easily take them. Yeah. <laughs> 
Welcome! will come for us now, harder and stronger than before. No surprise there. This war has spun on for three generations. I hardly expect him to relent. Your hatred for that man burns bright wolf kissed. I could warm my balls on it. Would you not prefer a pair of sealskin breeches? Just take care, Eivor. Such hatred can make you careless. What he did to your father, he did to all of us. You are not in this fight alone. Sterbjorn will scold you for setting out against his wishes. Of course he will. Is that not something you worry over? I worry only that our king will not see that I am right until it's too late. What about Sigurd? What would he say? If Sigurd were here, he would be sitting beside you, wiping the blood from his axe and smiling into the breeze. What will you tell our king about this misadventure? Only the truth. We attacked Jotbe's fortress, killed his men, and weakened his control of this land. Will you mention the part where you lost your crew and were nearly sold as a thrall? Will that be part of your saga? There's a skull who dares sing that verse. It'll be his last song. Make for the dark! <laughs> well, well! The Feeder of Ravens returns! And not... We thought we had lost you, Eivor! For good this time! A warm welcome as always, Ranvi! You look like red and shit! What happened? Nothing to crow about, except to say the men who delayed us are dead. And how are you? Well enough, though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king. He is not happy with you. I expected as much. And what of Sigurd? Has he returned from his raids? My husband should be home today. The last we heard, he was approaching Stavanger. Good to hear. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned. We killed many of Kjotve's warriors. And there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah. Oh. After so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. 
He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. A cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters. It stirred something in me. A feeling I have not had since. Since the day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies. Of sadness and pain. I should speak with Volka. She could help me make sense of my... My feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the Longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor. Just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know. Eivor! Looking rough you are. Welcome home. Did you bring us any treasure? I returned with a boat and a full crew that is worth more than silver. That doesn't count. You need silver. And jewels. <laughs> Shut up, Rolf. How do you know? You never went on a raid. You shut up. Caught anything? Not today. The fish aren't biting. Too many passing boats churning the water. I lack the patience for pole fishing. I would have better luck with my bow. Shooting fish with a bow? That could work. Oh. Hello, Eivor. Well, look who it is. Practicing your wordplay, Alvis. Ah, Eivor! <laughs> the only mouth in Midgard from which I fear mockery! You told me the art of writing poetry, old friend. It is only natural that I surpass you soon. How about another lesson, then? A quick flight. Right here, right now. What do you say? Let's try flighting. I always put a few coins down as a wager. Most of those who enjoy flighting have an equal fondness for betting. But today, we'll abstain. Let me begin. I'm ready. In flighting, it's key to match cadence and rhyme. It's as much about sound as it is about time. So be careful in choosing the words that you say. I'll recall what you taught ere I enter the fray. A fine answer! Perfect rhyme and a lovely cadence to match my line. Now, let us examine meaning. <clears throat> In flighting, you'll need to be cutting and keen. It's about wielding wit more than venting your spleen. If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull... Then I tell you you've nothing inside of your skull. Eh, a good response. I called you stupid and you turned it around. Flighting about wit, you matched my meaning. When you think of too many perfect retorts, use the one that best matches the meaning. Last one. So go then and conquer the world with your wit. Go be clever, be quick, show your spirit and grit. I look eagerly forward to seeing how you fare. I look forward to becoming far more than you can bear. A good rhyme, but a bad structure. Close, you're close. 
Your flighting's astounding, you're worthy of praise. You swing a fine axe and you turn a good phrase. Thank you, Alvis. I'll take the lesson to heart. Eivor, come to keep your blade sharp? Wolf kissed. Welcome back. Garner, I have something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor! Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have will it so. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. That should do it. Anything else? That is all for now. Return any time. Point me to some good hunting grounds. I could, but I don't want every iron foot with a bow scaring away the game. Bring me three deer antlers to prove your skills, and I might just have a story for you. A worthy challenge. I'll see you soon.
Sven, have you designed any new tattoos? A few worth looking at. Let me have a look. Go ahead. Good. Need anything else? See you later, Sven. Sure. <laughs> Sit a while and play, friend. Tovi, trading a needle for an arrow, I see. Eivor, can you teach me the art of archery? I'll be happy to. See how I'm standing? Plant your feet in the ground, no wider than your shoulders. Breathe in as you draw the arrow back. Thank you, Eivor. Now I have something for you. See? All in the eye. Thank you, Eivor. As a gift, I could design a new tattoo for you. Something to decorate your scar. A kind offer. But I want this scar visible. Oh, I did not mean to offend. In any case, I do have a tattoo for you. Can I interest you in a game of Orla? They must be finished now. But if you have any other business, it may be wise to do it now. Let him cool down. I could speak to Volka first. Get this weight off my mind. The king is not going anywhere.
Why are you shouting? Ivan has wandered off again. Every time he claims he got lost in the mountains, I have had enough. If I have to risk more men looking for him, he will be branded and outlawed. Ivan, uh, he is Gunnar's sister's son, if I have it right. Do not fire your iron yet. I'll have a look around. to hear the songs of nature. Hamuram. Hamuram. Svala. She gives praises and she is greeted. For your hearing, I hearken. O oh, ancient ones, great Odin, great Freya, I give you thanks for your gift of Seder. She gives thanks and she is blessed. Eivor, it has been some time. What brings you so far to see me? I... Uh, I have come for your advice. On a private matter. Come. Is your mother well? Her mind is a jumble. She speaks to spirits. I fear her final winter has come. But she has me. Now... Let us speak to your needs. I... I have had a vision. A powerful vision. It may have been my battle lost, or a delirium caused by the cold, but... Describe it for me. After 17 years, I saw my father's axe again. And when I touched it, the vision came on fast. There was a wolf, howling and fierce. And then a figure. A greybeard in a cloak, with a single eye. He bid me follow him. Ah, the High One. He calls to you. Perhaps he means to speak with you, deliver a message. 
Only through Seder will you see more clearly and unravel the threats that sit tangled upon your mind. This will not take long. What are you brewing? An elixir to loosen your hugur and unwind your thoughts. You will enter a waking sleep and journey to the world of dreams. It may confuse or disorient you, but you must take note of all you see. Drink. If you seek true understanding. I saw nothing, Volka. Felt nothing. Harvey! Harvey. Harvey! Do oh, I walk among the dead? Sigurd. Sigurd! Brother! When did you arrive? There's no other way, Javi. Our fates are fixed. Take it! This was not for you, Javi. 